Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Hamad Taik Janjua and welcome to Geology Online. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below and also turn the notification on for the latest update. You can also suggest me any topic if you want me to prepare a presentation for you. So let's begin our topic for today. After talking about the Big Bang Theory in my earlier video which is about the origin of universe, in this video, we narrow down our understanding about the formation of sun and stars. Our solar system falls within the gravitational influence of our sun. Many scientists around the globe proposed their hypothesis about the origin of sun and moon. But in 1796, a German mathematician proposed a hypothesis and which is widely accepted nowadays known as the Nobular Hypothesis. According to the Nobular Hypothesis, the planets form at the same time from the same cloud as the star. What is the same cloud here? The same cloud here referred as the nobular cloud which is the mixture of dust particles. According to the Big Bang Theory, the origin of universe began around 13.5 billion years ago, but the formation of sun and star begins around 5 billion years ago from a joint spinning cloud which is composed of gas and dust particles. The joint cloud and gas is composed of mainly 74% hydrogen, 24% helium and remaining oxygen, nitrogen and carbon. According to the hypothesis, the core of cloud grew on the influence of gravity and became denser and hotter. Due to its rotation, the helium and hydrogen particle started moving towards the center of the core and started colliding with each other. Due to the collusion, the pure energy was created. This pure energy created heat to trigger the fusion reaction. This nuclear fusion reaction created our sun. Due to the explosion, all the heavier elements move away from the core body, which is sun. For example, the heavier elements are carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and iron. During the process of moving heavier elements away from the sun, the dust particles stuck together to form a cluster which is in return later form rocks. Gravity played a major role to bring these small clustered rocks together and eventually to form planets. This process is known as accretion. Due to the clustered particles, all the rocky planets were formed closer to the sun. However, the existing planets which are away from the sun are composed of denser elements. 